Welcome to Tech Weather the Dom area. In this video, we are going to learn how to create CSV file from MySQL table in the SSIS package. So that's what our topic is. So first of all, what we need to take a look, we need to have our table in the MySQL. I'm connected to the one of the server. I have a database called or schema called Tech Brothers IT. And in this schema, I have a table called Total Sale. It has 22 records. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you all the columns. I have this definition actually right here, create table, total sale, ID, sale person, first name, last name, and some other columns I have. Some of them are are integer some of them are string or a worker so let's take a look on the data itself and here I have all the data now what I need first of all as I need to read the data from uh, this uh, table uh, I need a login I need a user that uh, uh, on the MySQL that should have the permission when I run the SSIS package and use that user to read the data so in uh, my other window here is our user that's what we are going to use so I, I said that create user TB and uh, localhost so wherever my SSIS package is going to run that's the IP or uh, computer uh, path that I have to provide here so most of the time you are not going to be having localhost because your SSIS packages are not going to run on the same uh, computer where your MySQL is installed in my case it is installed on the same computer so I'm saying uh, localhost otherwise uh, provide the IP where your uh, SSIS package is going to run and uh, use this uh, user to access uh, the MySQL identify by password so that's our password and then I said grant all on TB and uh, that's where uh, my database name to need to go tech process IT okay and I'm saying dot uh, asterisk it means uh, on all the objects uh, provide me permission uh, for this uh, user okay so and I have every permission uh, as I said that grant all okay now flush privileges so it means uh, uh, just uh, refresh the permissions uh, and then I'm checking a uh, grant all on TB uh, here my database name should be so I should call tech brothers IT and uh, uh, sorry this is I'm repeating I shouldn't have this one actually here so I said show grants for this uh, user that's all I need to do okay so let's create this user now user does exist already so I'm gonna do one thing I'm gonna drop in front of you guys so you will know that we are doing everything from scratch and you can follow along so I'm gonna drop user and uh, that should drop okay now user is dropped right here you can flush privileges just for the sake and uh, then uh, what we are going to do we are going to create a user okay user is created now what we are going to do we are going to provide permission so we provide the permission and i'm going to say flush privi privileges and it's flashed and now we are going to say show grants it means show me all the permission this user has it so it has grant all privileges on tech Brothers it uh, dot asterisk to the this user so good now we are all set uh, and we can start working on our SSIS package before uh, you work on SSIS package uh, there are certain things you need to do first of all uh, you need uh, to download uh, this ODBC driver so you're gonna go and uh, download ODBC driver I'm gonna paste it here that's the link you are gonna use and you're gonna download Windows uh, X 86 32 bit MSI MSI installer that's what you're gonna use and uh, that will uh, download uh, your driver here and then uh, you can install if uh, you are getting a uh, error called redistributor uh, uh, x86 uh, uh, that's not to install on your system that's like a visual studio thing uh, there are some uh, fi binary files you need to install so for that one if this uh, uh, this installation give you error when you try to install ODBC then uh, this is the link uh, what you're gonna do you're gonna use and install that first uh, restart your computer and come back uh, and uh, reinstall your ODBC so right here that's the thing you have to install okay uh, Visual Studio for it worked for Visual Studio 2015 17 and uh, 19 so that's what I installed as well and restart my computer and after that I was uh, able to download this ODBC and install uh, just fine now how you make sure ODBC is installed and working so you're gonna go ODBC data sources 32 go to drivers and here you are gonna try to find ODBC driver for your MySQL uh, here right there 
uh, MySQL or, or DBC 8.0 and C driver. That's what I'm using, so it's good. Now, the last part, what you need to do, you need to have a connection string that you need to use in the SSIS package for ODBC connector. So that's the syntax that you are gonna use. So driver equal to curly parentheses, name of the driver, the same one I just showed you right here, and then uh, your server, and here is the local host. Because my SQL is installed on the same server, so I'm saying local host. Otherwise, you will be providing the IP where your my SQL is installed. Database, name of the database, whatever the na name of the database you have, in my case is Tech Brothers IT, and then you have UID, that's your user, and then you have the password. Okay, so this is gonna just work fine for us. I'm gonna take this one and go to the now Visual Studio 2015 or SSDT. I'm gonna create a new package. Let's uh, call this package. Uh, this is package number six. I'm gonna I'm just gonna rename quickly so I know that PKG load. Uh, no, sorry, create CSV. CSV file. Okay, so now what we need is we need a data flow task. And first of all, we need to read the data from the MySQL table. Okay, so there are a couple of ways you can do it. You can create the connection from here by going to the new connection and create a connection uh, and find ODBC and uh, create from here. It will open the same uh, uh, connection manager window or you can bring uh, your common source here. Let's say if we find uh, ODBC source or you can bring it here and then uh, double click on this one and once you click uh, it bring you here so it's the same create uh, stay, uh, connection uh, or configure ODBC connections manager that I just showed you from the connection managers so I'm gonna hit new and uh, I'm gonna um, go to the use connection string here and uh, that's where I'm gonna paste that connection string what we had now once I click, click here under the username and it selected uh, the user itself so I'm gonna say uh, DBA123 and the DAS uh, should test our connection string just fine. So it, we are able to connect to the uh, MySQL. That is okay, but and uh, this is named it uh, just uh, techbrazil.tv. Okay, so we can rename if we want. And uh, from here, you can uh, choose the uh, you can write your SQL statement if you want, or uh, you can just uh, choose the table. So let's say in my case, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose a table and say columns. So it selected all the columns for total sale table from my SQL. So from uh, here, that's our my SQL techbrazil IT table name is. Uh, total sale and these are all column is selected okay good now next part is that we are going to bring uh, our other uh, transformation that's uh, the, our destination and uh, that's going to be uh, where i find that uh already be source these are all sources here honestly like sometime it take me forever <laughs> to even find it uh, looks like i'm getting old here so flat file destination that's what we need to use okay good so we have uh, this right here flat file destination because i want to create a csv file so i'm going to double click here create a new and the uh, delimited file is just fine for me so if you want to create something else uh, you know you can always have uh, the privilege to do that uh, i'm going to go ahead and create uh, on the desktop it is okay i'm going to give this name my sql table to csv file and uh, the extension i would like to have is the csv so i just change the extension right here so that's what it says my sql table to csv hit okay now column names in the first row yes i do want that go to columns and uh, the columns looking good and uh, go to advanced if anything you need to do you can always select uh, the you know data types and all those data bits and everything so if uh, there is something you are feeling that's need to be done you can select and hit okay now go to mapping and in the mapping you can see that uh, it uh, automatically took all those columns fine because that's exactly the same column we wanted and uh, we're all good here i'm gonna hit save button here and then run my package now execute package work 22 records has been written to our file so i'm going to go here and uh, that's where my file is uh, my sql table to csv i'm going to edit and see the records here so you guys can see that uh, that's the first uh, 
header row just looks good and then we have the other records i can open in excel and show you there are 22 records so you i i have no doubt about that <laughs> these are 22 records so you will be just fine uh, believing in me okay now there are a couple of things uh, i would like to do before i will leave you guys uh, uh, for this session one as uh, you guys see that uh, the, everything is hard coded uh, so if uh, you go to the odbc drive here connection manager is uh, your uh, username and password was uh, written right here that's not the right approach because if you are going to deploy your packages to the uat server prod server that's where you need to use some parameters so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a couple of parameters here i'm going to call this one username and uh, this is going to be your string and uh, that is our tb in this case right now and uh, then your password so when you deploy this uh, package to the other environment such as the uh, uat or prod and all that what you can do you can just pass these values uh, from the configuration and you don't have to do anything uh, uh, for this one you can also change server name database name and all those kind of things uh, when uh, you can create the same way i'm creating right here you like parameters just keep creating all of them that does change and then we will make a change in the expressions so here go to the connection manager of odbc and go to expressions and here what i'm going to do here i'm going to select the connection string and uh, here we go and now what we are going to do we are going to use the same connection on what we had here i'm going to bring it here and uh, then we will make the changes uh. so you put double quotes around it then uh, you paste the whole thing then go to the uid equal to where our username is and i'm going to just remove the username put double quotes first then i'm going to put plus sign then i'm going to put another plus sign then put double quotes again and uh, here i'm going to move my username parameter so right there so you guys see right there okay now for the password i'm going to delete the password and uh, i'm going to just uh, put double quotes around it put the plus sign here and then say password so i'm going to bring the password here okay so this is all looking good evaluate the expression and uh, as we have provided the value dba123 and uh, tb as a user it just took uh, from the parameters values and evaluated fine now this is how it is going to look i'm going to take this one and show you guys in the right here i actually built this uh, this in the last video so uh, it's a uh, pretty much same you know uh, but uh, you can see that i have double quotes first then uh, the actual string right here till right here and double quotes again i put the plus sign here and then uh, i had uh, this uh, parameter come in through and the plus sign again to concatenate and then password and double quotes around plus sign and then at the end i have uh, the password parameter so this is how you're going to pass the value uh, for your uh, parameters uh, to the connection string again i advise you guys uh, do one thing uh, all the things uh, such as uh, server name uh, database name uh, your you everything what you need to change just uh, create the parameters and uh, using the connection string so when you deploy to your UAT prod uh, or any other servers uh, you don't have to make changes in the package but the values can be passed through the configuration so i thank you for watching this videos and i will uh, um, uh, see you guys in the next video i like uh, if you guys will like my um, videos and you guys are subscribing to the channel that's great because i would like to get 200,000 subscriber <laughs> it's been a while i didn't get that uh, so uh, we we have a lot of views we have uh, almost 20 million views but we don't uh, get enough subscribers um, anyways so go ahead subscribe if you like thank you very much